Engineers of Reddit, what's the most ridiculous idiot proofing you've had to add in your never-ending quest to combat stupid people? A paragraph in an owner's manual on not eating the broken glass from binoculars. Chemical engineer, please do not beep in the test room. I wish I was joking, but it happened. We had a pedestrian bridge next to a bridge for vehicles, separated by about a three feet gap. The bridges were about 20 feet high over the water. So many drunk pedestrians climbed over the rails and tried to jump between bridges and didn't make it that I was directed to design a safety net to hang between the two bridges. Wife is a civil engineer. The one that came to mind for her was that she had to add to the specification of a construction contract that stated that workers would not drink the water that accumulated at the bottom of an excavation. I work on cars, so almost everything is designed around protecting people. My favorite is that we have to make the HVAC system louder and engine noise insulation worse because people will complain if they can't hear the systems running. We could make almost silent air ducts, but our warranty spend would go up. I work in facilities maintenance. Someone put in a ticket for a malfunctioned computer on and I found the power cord was frayed. Not my gear so all I can really do is set it aside and have the biomed techs fix it. I put a zip tie through the holes in the prongs of the plug, put two nitrile glove on the plug, zip tied the gloves in place, and wrapped up the gloves with duct tape. I got a sheet of printer paper and wrote, inoperative, do not use, do not plug in, and taped it to the monitor. Couple hours later I get a ticket for another cow with frayed power cord sparking. It turned out to be the same cart and one of the nurses cut the end of the gloves off, cut the zip tie in the end of the plug and plugged it in and it arced and tripped a breaker because of the frayed power cord. Took the physical disable Wi-Fi button off laptops. Clearly marked, but people would still flip it and wonder why their Wi-Fi went off. Civil engineer here, while laying asphalt usually we close the road and cover using barricade tapes. But no matter his hard we try people always find ways to go through and ruin the whole process. Ultimately we had to use security to block the roads. Former combat engineer here. We built a three feet high fence across a minefield including huge red warning triangles every four feet. Someone still stepped over it to go take a crap in the woods. They were carried out on a stretcher. Nothing is idiot proof. I'm a Mekki intern. I walked in on my manager discussing a design with another engineer. All I heard was, so the guys will probably use that as a hammer so I made it out of this stronger material. When they're working they will probably be throwing the small door open so I used stronger hinges and added a stop. It's things like this that I really appreciate about my internship. I likely wouldn't have thought about that myself. I was asked to make a hydraulic oil pump nozzle drink proof. I worked in a call center and all of the PCs were slung on straps under the desks. I'd love to know which genius came up with that idea. So, people would be on the phone swinging back and forth in their chair and hit the power button. Then I'd get a ticket saying my modem keeps turning off. I disabled the power button from immediately shutting down the PC if you pressed it but of course they'd get into a position sometimes where it'd be held down long enough to override it. Solution? Duct tape and a bottle cap. Once we upgraded all the PCs to new ones I took the time to remove those stupid straps and put the PCs behind the monitor out of reach instead. I have one customer that takes our product, removes the battery packs, and solders them in backwards. He cuts the wires to the batteries, then solders red to black, and black to red. Then calls us complaining that they don't work. There is no idiot proofing that I can think of at this point. I pretty much just admit defeat now. Application engineer here. When handling a 3D laser scanner, it has to be placed and fixed on a stable tripod. A flat rail of a balcony is not a suitable substitute for it. And no, the insurance has not covered the total loss of the device after it fell from the fifth floor to the concrete pavement. Industrial designer here. You have no idea how many pointers I have to add to the products I make. I had to add arrows to a product that had two-piece THT the client could put together and remove for cleanup. It was designed that it could only fit into one position and it was made very obvious which position that was, think a larger shape and hole. No, I still had to put two arrows in case people couldn't tell the bigger bump could only fit in the bigger gap. I work for the utility company, mainly in the distribution of natural gas. All of the pipelines we put into the ground are either yellow, or black and yellow, and only gas is allowed to use yellow for their pipes. 
some of them have natural gas printed on them in big bold letters. We put special tape about 20 centimeters above the pipeline to indicate that there is a gas pipeline below and whomever is digging there should be careful. All these precautions and warnings, and we still get daily incidents from idiots who were digging somewhere and hit a gas pipeline. Ever write any software? The amount of error checking you have to do on any user input is phenomenal. No matter how much explanation you provide, users seem to be chimpanzees entering stuff seemingly at random. Mechanical engineer. I work on systems that need to be light and durable, but the business guys want it cheap. This is a choose two sort of situation so you can probably guess what got dropped. I can't tell you how many times I've told the operators to not intentionally drop the product from 6 plus FT onto concrete. Can't get specific, since it's a very niche, classified market. I'm in the process of turning my woodcrafting hobby into a career, with every project I add to my portfolio. I've seen a lot of requests for desks that are so customized, they want everything that can't happen. They want an armrest where there's also a cup holder, they want a keyboard at this height while having the monitor at that height, all these impossible requests. I eventually sat down and thought to myself, if I was super lazy and didn't want to move from one spot, what would make for the perfect office desk? So I made one, got $150 from it. An app which scans barcodes to recognize items. It runs on Android and uses the device's camera to handle the scanning bed. The number of times the question is asked, is this supported on secure cameraless devices? Our devices don't have cameras and they don't have a barcode scanner. Can the app still work? Reminds me of one of my first design jobs OK boss, I've got the design. The front footing needs to be 20 inches wide, the rear footing is 17 inches wide so both of them are 20 inches wide do we need a 20 inch if a 17 inch will work? Because that way we don't have to worry about the construction guys building a 17 inch front footing and a 20 inch rear footing. Engineering coworker always told the story of when he used to work support at one of the leading electronic lab equipment, for example, oscilloscopes, companies. Engineers would call or email when a piece of hardware stopped working, and the initial support advice was to ask the engineer to check the polarity on the power cable. Just in case it was, ahem, plugged in incorrectly. Structural engineer. When designing a handwheel for a door on a ship, we had to intentionally design the handwheel to break before the shaft, because we can't trust idiots to not spin it as hard as they possibly can, destroying the entire door in the process. I work remodeling small businesses. Our niche is we keep the business running while doing the remodel. I've caught people climbing over fences, ducking under moving heavy machinery, broke into locked doors all to act surprised when we tell them this area is off limits and point to one of the 10 signs we posted. This was while I was in school for electrical engineering. The professor looked at us one day and said, you can't make something 100% idiot proof because the universe will just make a better idiot at the challenge that has stuck with me since. Structural engineering at an industrial facility. Switched to pipe or HSS for bracing because anything made out of angle would be immediately torched out of the way if it ever got remotely close to anything maintenance wanted to work on since it was just an angle iron. Do not eat iPod shuffle. Systems engineer, or sysadmin. I gave up years ago. We had a saying in a factory I worked in. A determined worker will destroy an anvil with a rubber mallet. Not an engineer, just a user. Front toward enemy, on an M18 Claymore mine. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.